what's going on everybody it is monday memorial day and with that being said i'd actually like to give a little uh, spotlight to somebody i know that uh, actually passed away in active duty uh, which is my father uh, my father was uh, 24 years in the navy uh, he enlisted in 77 passed away in 2001 uh, he did not die from uh, you know fighting or anything like that uh, but he did uh, he you know he spent you know a lot of his time with the navy and everything like that uh he ended up dying from a heart attack so i mean but he was still in active duty and uh i love him to death so i felt like today would be a good day to go ahead and shine a spotlight on him uh, his name was mark r waterman mark ray waterman um i wish i had a photo to show you but they're packed up because you know the move and everything like that and i wasn't able to actually find the box that they were actually in i wanted to show you where i get my good looks from but I'll show you later on. Um, but like I said, uh, it's Memorial Day. Uh, it's the day that we remember those who have, that have, uh, you know, fought for our, our freedoms, for my ability to do exactly what I'm doing at this moment. Uh, so thank you um, to all of those people that allowed me to do what I am doing today. Uh, so what I'm going to do today is I'm actually going to take out the Magnaflow, which. Man, let me put this side by side yeah there you go so i'm gonna take out the magna flow because and the reason why I, the magna flow sounds good but it was able to um it had the x pipe in there and whatnot so it was able to equalize and uh, balance out the, the the two sides so if you're wondering why an x pipe is so important let me give you a little bit of uh, an idea as what it helps helps do um yeah it helps yeah that didn't sound right but anyways um so it was more of a thing like h pipes and x pipes they were more of a thing for like the 350s and certain other models uh the ls doesn't have it as bad but like say the 350 has two points where it fires two cylinders on the exact same side uh back to back it does it where it's on the even side and then it immediately after that it does it on the the uh the odd side as well so what is what the x pipe or h pipes whichever one you decide to go with what they what they do is, is whenever it it's pulsing those on that on that same side each time it's actually pulling the air from the other side that's not doing anything and that way whenever the next compression on that side happens it's already got air being pulled through so when it fires it off it's pulling it through and it's going out pretty quickly um, the LS it only has one point where it fires on the exact same side uh, it's a uh, two and four it fires two and four at the on the at, you know back to back and so it, it it's not as bad on these but like say the coyote motor it does it on two as well it has like the 350 where it's it's firing like an uh the odd like two odds and then two positives back to back and so it, it's more beneficial on those what you'll hear is a uneven exhaust note that's because it's like i said it's firing uh, two on the same side back to back and then when it if you don't have an X pipe and it comes around For that it's gonna have a bit of a pressure there because as it you know, it's it's got that like kind of just like a, some pressure sitting there, so It's having to force that bit of air out But if it's already got a little bit of a, a pull on it So when it when it pushes on when it sends that air through it's way easier for that air to go out It's you know, they say what can happen is, is like if you don't have an X pipe those cylinders that are firing back to back they tend to wear out faster just because of the extra stress that they're having to uh to do uh so it's just you know it, it's 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 small stuff but in the long run when you think of long term it it can be a problem now on these like i said on these ls it's not that big of a deal um that being said if you haven't seen i built that yesterday that x pipe yesterday because like i said i'm taking out this one and it has the x pipe in it and i'd like to keep that um, because when I didn't have one in there, you could actually tell a difference in the sound. Okay, so this is the basically what we're going to have here. These are going to come together. I'm going to actually probably weld all of this together because this is going to be one solid unit whenever I'm done. Um, so I'm probably going to pull this off because it's kind of tight to try to weld up in here. That way I can weld uh, all of this. I'll do all of this pipe and then I'll go ahead and weld everything right here. And then I can put this back on and you know it's, it's got a bigger gap right there I can weld in there pretty easily and then it's just a matter of uh, yeah popping this thing up in there like I, 
like it's supposed to and yeah it's gonna be a little bit longer than the the other one but I wanted to make sure I had enough tube to help draw out the air inside here all right so got her all in place here nice and and, and stout and supported I got those clamps I hate so much I need to do like some like tribal flanges or something that I can just you know bolt on and off something whatever though for right now it's gonna do fine uh, but let's see what she sounds like let me go ahead and set you guys up so you can It's louder. It's definitely louder than the magnet flows. Um, but the, the true test will be is when we take it for a ride. How does it sound when we're driving down the road? Uh, it sounds pretty good revving up, but like I said, we need to do a little bit more testing. Let's see. This might be my new favorite. Might be. good it sounds really 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 good yeah yeah <laughs> I don't know the magnifier might not be going back on unless I have some issues up there in uh, Minnesota with the noise and whatnot because it was much quieter it it definitely wouldn't have issues with noise but uh, <laughs> I think that these are gonna be my new my new setup for right now I really like the way they sound so yeah i mean that's it uh it's been a great memorial day for me and thank you all thanks thanks to all of y'all for clicking on this video and just viewing it and um hope i didn't turn you away with the uh with, turn you off with with the uh, the emotional stuff at the beginning but hey you know it's a memorial day so but as you can hear you can hear it idling and she sounds fantastic so man i just I, I just keep hunting the right muffler and I think I may have found the right setup. I'm gonna drive with it for a week or two, um, let the mufflers break in, see how it sounds then, because right now it sounds fantastic. And if it stays sounding like that, or even gets a little bit better, then these things are staying on there. I do have to add one more, one more little um, exhaust hanger. It, it's bouncing a little bit, but that's not a problem. I'm gonna take care of that here in just a minute. And, um, but yeah. I hope you liked it, man. I hope everybody liked the uh, the sound. I hope it picked up well with the camera. I know sometimes these sounds don't don't come over the the speaker very well. So, um, but hey, like I said, thank you guys.